on his 11th day of being lost in Great Smoky Mountains National Park and being this close to eating bugs, 18-year-old Austin Bahanan woke up Tuesday morning on the top of a ridge, looked down, and saw boats floating on Abrams Creek. At a news conference at park headquarters on Wednesday afternoon, Chief Ranger Steve Kloster relayed the Tennessee teen's initial story of how he emerged uninjured despite entering the park with only light food and water. Austin and his stepfather, identified as Hubert Dyer Jr., somehow became separated in the Shop Creek area of the park on the afternoon of August 11, Austin told park rangers. We don't have any reason to believe that he was with anybody else, Kloster said. It wasn't until the night of August 13 that Austin was reported missing. Kloster didn't say Wednesday who reported the teen missing and said Dyer didn't immediately report him missing because the family initially believed they could find him. More, missing hiker found alive in Himalayas after 47 days, survived on salt and water. Dyer told authorities the pair were in the park hunting for ginseng. Kloster said. Ginseng is a popular medicinal herb used in energy drinks and for various other purposes. It is illegal to remove plants from national parks. Later on we'll look at the law enforcement component, the chief ranger said, but we're not there right now. After being separated, Austin climbed to the top of a ridge and tried multiple times to call his mother on his cell phone, but the calls did not go through, Kloster said. The teen spent the night atop that ridge. In the morning, Austin climbed down, found a creek believed to be Tabcat Creek and followed it until he encountered Panther Creek. The teen hiked up Panther Creek for two or three days until he realized he needed to travel in the other direction and turned around, Kloster said, adding that the area, marked by steep gorges and several waterfalls, is very difficult to traverse. Austin told rangers that at one point, he heard a search helicopter and tried to get the attention of the pilot, but the vegetation was too dense and limited visibility, Kloster said. Helicopters equipped with infrared devices were used to aid in the search, as were K-9 teams from the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency. Austin drank the water but that was it, Kloster said, indicating the teen ate almost nothing while inside the park. On Tuesday morning, Austin awoke on a ridge where Panther and Abrams Creeks meet. He scrambled down to the bottom of Abrams Creek and he was finally able to wave down a boat, which picked him up and ultimately gave him a ride back to his family, Kloster said. Austin was assessed at the Blunt County Memorial Hospital and released a few hours later.